<clears throat> Welcome music lovers from in and outside the vinyl community. My name is Marco and this is my video. Nine overlooked but good 80s albums from 5 to 10 euro pounds uh, dollars. First of all, I want to thank everyone who watched my uh, last uh, 80s overlooked video and also my dots and loops. Vinyl tech uh, video, never thought so many people will watch that stuff, so thanks a lot. And special thanks goes out to Rob Walker, who was so nice to, who was so kind to share my last 80s overlooked video. I really appreciate it, thanks a lot. And also special thanks to Harry Spilton, who pushed me to do some, to bring out some videos. Also, thank you very much. So, uh, to the video, this time from 5 to 10, last video was uh, for 5 or less. And this time we have a, a lot of new wave. Uh, also different stuff, but uh, the majority is new wave and everything what goes kind of in that direction. Um, the albums this time, uh, the albums are not so easy to find, I think, in record stores. Free for sure, I think, but the rest you got to rely more on Discogs, I think, this time, or any other online platform. Um, yeah, for the price, uh, again, it variates a bit in uh, the UK and the US and some our uh, albums uh, are not available, uh, they, at least they got no uh, UK or US uh, seller on Discogs. Sorry for that, but how it goes. But I will tell it, I got my special paper here. I hope I don't forget to say it after every uh, album. And yeah, you can listen to every album for free on YouTube, so no excuses. And yeah, no no need to uh, subscribe, but I would be really happy if you leave a comment. I will reply to every comment for sure. And yeah, let's... Uh, and yeah, the albums, the majority is... Uh, you won't probably like it after the first listen. One, yeah, maybe two, but the others you got to listen two, three times. Or maybe to get a bit into it, to appreciate it more, and that's probably the reason they are overlooked. Okay, uh, first album, I would do this in uh, uh, order of release here. First album is Random Hold, uh, it's the debut album, etc. They are from the States. And Random Hold is a band with no permanent band members. It's more uh, coming and going. Uh, some band members did also uh, stuff with Peter Gabriel, John Anderson, uh, Peter Hamill, or the. Yeah. And so, and this is their debut. The music is uh, New Wave Post Punk, I would say. Uh, but uh, attention, don't be, be fooled by the beginning of the first song. Uh, there first it starts a bit spacey, which is really good, and then comes the synth, the keyboards and the guitar come, coming in. They are sounding a lot uh, like 80s rock, yeah. But then when the vocal starts, it's already different. Uh, the, the guitar comes uh, back again once more, the keyboard doesn't, uh, fortunately. <laughs> But the song is still very good, it's a very good song. And from song 2 to the end, it's yeah, New Wave Post Punk. Uh, side A, it's a bit more, uh, it's a bit darker, not dark, but a bit darker, more serious. B side uh, lightens a bit up, uh, with, especially with the songs uh, Second Nature and etc. Uh, yeah. Here at the back again, of course, you can see it. And yeah, uh, what it, uh, when it comes to the price, uh, it's five to seven euros pounds, really a cheap record. 
And in the States, you can probably get it even maybe for under five dollars. So it's really worth it. Really, really. Uh, second album, The Associates. Yeah, Billy McKenzie and uh, Alan Rankin. They are unfortunately both are already dead. Uh, Billy McKenzie took his uh, life a uh, long time ago and Alan Rankin died uh, at 3rd of or 4th of January this year. That went a bit under the radar because many famous musicians died already this year, in the start beginning of this year. I wouldn't know it all too that uh, Alan Rankin died if uh, Harris Hilton wouldn't have told me. And yeah, you are right, the associates are not an overlooked band, but you know how it goes. Uh, if someone shows an uh, associate uh, album, it's mostly Sark, Sark, Sark. But I think the fir their first two releases are better. And this is the second release, for of Draw Dawn, and this is not a real uh, typical studio album. This is a compilation of singles and b-sides, but it works really well, like a studio album. But uh, it's a uh, hard listen, probably the hardest listen of any of the other, all, all other albums. And uh, the reason is probably, first of all, Billy McKenzie's singing style. Not his voice, he has a great voice, but his style is a bit... Uh, uh, he sings more like opera, not real opera, but you know, that's like kind of Freddie Mercury stuff, kind stuff. And yeah, this is probably not for everyone, you have to get a bit used to it. And the music, uh, the melodies are not so accessible at the start. And a lot is happening in the background. Uh, it's a, special, kind of unique, bit, bit unique stuff, but it's really, 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 really great if you listen more to it, if you get into it, this album has a lot to offer, especially by, from the music side, uh, that Alan Rankin is responsible for that, and I wouldn't say he was a genius, but he really, really experimented a lot and created their own style. There is a documentary on YouTube if you want to watch about the associates where Alan Rankin talks how they fill balloons with water and then play the guitar with them, if I remember exactly. It's, it's really nice, you can watch it. Check it out. Okay, uh, the price for that, yeah, in Europe it fits. Uh, and in the UK, uh, but uh, in the States, from 15 up, you got to, you can find a nice copy. Okay, album three, also 1981. This is the cut with the debut Shadow Talks, and this is a band from Norway. Yeah, but um, they are singing on English. Don't be afraid. Only one song, uh, uh, the same on German, uh, in dieser Stadt, and the reason is uh, because uh, this guy in the middle, if you see, uh, this is Volker Zibbel, yeah, you assume right, he's a German guy, and yeah, this is a yeah, new wave, but it's uh, a bit punky, a bit punk, yeah, so, a bit harder. And really, I, I can't say there is a bad song on this. One song is good, but the others are very good or great. Really, really, really nice. Really good album. And yeah, you can check it out on YouTube. Nice cover. Fortunately, ah yes, this is the... In a sleeve with uh, lyrics. And yeah, when it comes to the price, uh, in Europe, yeah, it fits 5 to 10, as it's mostly from 7, 8 to 10. 
and uh, unfortunately no Discog seller for the UK and for the States. Sorry. Uh, album 4, uh, The Dance, with the uh, debut in Lust. And uh, they are from the States. Inner sleeve, nice. This is the singer, Eugene Di Serio. And this is, yeah, New Wave with a bit, a bit art influence, not too much. And it's a bit different uh, new wave because they use also different instruments. Uh, like I said, that this uh, woman Eugene this series she plays also the steel drum on some on some songs and the violin, and they use uh, percussion and some stuff. It's really glorious, but really, really, really fun. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, the dance uh, formed, uh, they had a uh, band before, the Model Citizens, I think they called, and they uh, did an EP, then they split it up. And uh, then some members formed uh, Polyrock, maybe you know Polyrock, and the others formed uh, the dance. And this is a very good album, yeah. And what comes to price, uh, uh, no uh, seller for the UK, sorry, but uh, in the US, there, even if it's a band from the States, you have to pay over 20 euros for that, even that one, or you got a reissue that came out uh, one or two years ago, so yeah, I don't know why, funny how it goes because they are from the States, but really nice stuff. Uh, album 5. Uh, the Dance Society, Heaven is Waiting, they are from the UK. This is, yeah, golf, golf, yeah. But a bit uh, different, God. They're uh, uh, not so on Sisters of Mercy style or this typical God music. Uh, there are even two songs uh, which are pretty dance songs, uh, song two and three. And uh, it's also a lot of keyboards on it, uh, but the keyboards are really great. The guy who played them is really, really good. And it gives him the Gives them album does sound a bit a uh, special thing, yeah. Uh, nice cover, nice inner sleeve. Yeah, beautiful. She, the woman has a bit uh, crazy eyes, but <laughs> doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, there's also uh, they did the cover of a Rolling Stones song. Uh, 20, uh, 2000 light years from home. Uh, they, it's a really good uh, cover, uh, they, but they didn't change a lot. A bit, uh, a bit uh, how to say, uh, the chorus, yeah, the chorus. A bit more uh, to fit more the golf style. But really, it's a really very good album, really enjoyable. And uh, from the price, yeah, UK and Europe fit the price, 5 to 10. In the States from 15 and more, you can get a nice copy. Uh, album... Six, yeah. Album six, uh, Shriekback, Care. This is their first uh, real studio album and this band is formed from, I think, a member from Ecstasy and some other members from other bands and uh, here this time uh, it's a bit uh, tricky 
because you got two different uh, pressings. You got the UK and Euro pressing, and you got this one. This is a Canadian pressing, so US and Canadian pressing, which are have different uh, track list. Yeah, I like the uh, North American press more from the track list because uh, two songs are on it which are not on the UK European uh, uh, pressing that are Accretions and My Spine. They come in the UK and Europe, they come already out uh, as singles and on an EP, but not in the States or North America. And they decide, I think Warner is it, yeah, or Silver Record Warner, they decide to uh, put them in because they are more. Uh, yeah, more hit, more danceable, but they are really, really great song. And I like this pressing more also because that gives them, uh, it's uh, then different. It's uh, like a concept, uh, like uh, Kate Bush, Hounds of Love. Yeah, uh, where you got the, the side A, you got more this, uh, more accessible, more danceable, you know, hit stuff. What is really great on that album. Uh, on side A and on the B side you get more the interesting, you know, stuff like on Hounds of Love, more here it's more uh, slower, a bit more spacey, a bit more trippy and it's really great. B side here also, A and B side are great for, for both, are both great and uh, on the UK pressing it's more like uh, the B side. Yeah. You can well assume now that it's also good, but the songs which are they stretch the good songs, all the good songs from B side on A and B, and I will put you uh, the link for both pressings. I will put you the link in the description, so decide for yourself uh, what pressing you like more. Uh, and if you like the North American pressing more, and you live in Europe, like. I do then you have to pay a bit of from 15 to 18 euro you can find a nice copy yeah I all paid myself too but uh, in the states if it's the North American pressing it's all five to six seven euros in the UK and Europe if it's the normal European pressing it's also pretty cheap uh, only if you you know want to import uh, Next one, uh, 1986, this is Michael Garrison uh, with his album Image. Uh, this is uh, Michael Garrison is uh, from Oregon, from the States, and he's, this is an electro electronic music. Yeah, and uh, the style is, uh, how can I say, the style is uh, like the old uh, electronic music uh, masters like uh, Jean-Michel Jarre or Vangelis so if you like that you probably will like uh, this album too and yeah can show this is Michael Garrison guy and yeah you are right for 1986 it's a bit uh, outdated but we are already in 2023 so who cares and really, really, uh, unfortunately, you can't listen to the whole album. This is the only album you can't listen to the whole album on YouTube. Only three songs. But if you like the three songs, I guarantee you, you will like the whole album. Because I did it <laughs> by myself, too, like that. Yeah. And you won't be disappointed. Uh, the only thing uh, I can say, maybe, it's a bit... Uh, uh, the songs two and three have got a bit... Uh, kind of mm, cheap beat, uh, not melody, but cheap beat. Song 2, it's uh, not, uh, doesn't bother too much, so song 3 already, that uh, sometimes a bit uh, bothers you, but then from song 4 to the end, it's really, really nice, nice music. Real songs, not just some ambient, you know, it's, they are real songs. Really, really nice album. He got also, uh, you see here, uh, this is this is uh, different releases, which are even cheaper than this one. This one goes, 
Yeah, you can find the August one from five or less. Uh, this one is yeah seven eight euros. Uh, and uh, there he is, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you can't, uh, there's no seller in the UK. And, uh, but in the States, you can get it then from 12 and up. Yeah, a bit more expensive, but yeah, what can I say? Can't help you with it. Next one, uh, Dole, uh, this is nine, also 1986, Dole with their album Speed of Hope. I think this is their only real album release, and they are from Belgium. Here are the band members. You can see on the sticker it's produced by Adrian Paulin from The Sound. And this is uh, the, probably the most accessible album, you can probably like after the first listen. It's a yeah, new wave, uh, but it's uh, sometimes pretty poppy. You've got uh, three songs are real new wave, two uh, ballads you got, and uh, the other three songs uh, are it's a bit poppy. Yeah? But uh, that it's not in a bad uh, way, really, really, it's an album, you know, you can uh, put it on and it spins and it, you're just uh, turning sides and you think, oh, should I play something else? Oh, no, I play this piece, oh, no, I turn the side, no, and then you can listen the whole day to it, really, really nice. Uh, and if in one moment you probably think, Man, this sounds like Spandau Ballet. <laughs> this could be, uh, you are right, uh, because the singer has a similar voice. He's a really has a good voice. He has a similar voice like uh, I think Tony Hartley, or I think his name is of the singer of uh, Spandau Ballet. Uh, and they are also use. Uh, they're using a saxophone on some songs, not on every song, so sometimes you can probably get uh, the uh, impression that uh, it sounds like uh, Spando Ballet, but it's by far not so poppy like Spando Ballet. It's, yeah, new ways with a bit of pop touch. Really nice stuff. Uh, yeah, for the price, uh, if you want it in this original uh, in Europe is the price fits, in the UK uh, there's no seller. There's no seller on this cup for the UK, uh, crazy stuff. And in the States you can find it uh, for 10, uh, up to 10 euros, but it's, uh, it's a different cover. Yeah, it's uh, black with a uh, bit purple, I think, but you will see if you check it out. For that one then you have to pay over 10. 15 or so if you want uh, this cover and yeah the last one is uh, sold American with their album Fade Let's see yeah you see a bit mold yeah over 20 years in the basement from my father yeah it's his album and yeah this is um, they are from the States, uh, from Chicago, and this is, uh, on this book it's written uh, alternative country, I would call it more indie folk, but <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter, uh, alternative country or indie folk, so I say it's country or folk, but with an alternative or indie touch, and really, really, I have to say great, yeah? Really nice stuff, and uh, it's really something special. A side, B side, not a bad song on it. Really wonder how they did, didn't be a bit more popular. And yeah, this is uh, even that they come from uh, the States, they are released it on Rough Trade. The album and the others I think also are on rough trade so this is the reason probably uh, 
you can get this album in the States under $25. For Europe and for uh, UK it fits the price. And so, yeah, this is the last one. Yeah, we are finished. Okay, thanks a lot uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you will listen to the albums and find at least one album that you like. And yeah, don't forget to leave a comment and goodbye. Wish you all the best.